Hi guys, it's me again, Maria, and today another tutorial that I'm so excited to share with you guys. So I'm going to share to you step by step on how you can clone anything you want, any object, any people, or yourself into your own video using CapCut. CapCut is one of my favorite editing tools because it's a friendly user. So I highly recommend to use CapCut for your video creation, especially for those who are getting started. Without any further ado, let's do this. Alright guys, so first we're going to Canva and we will going to create a video that we are going to use to clone inside of CapCut. So now we are here in Canva and I'm gonna use the 16 by 9 and create a blank template. In here in, in your left side, uh, let's click the videos here and we're going to search for the dancing dog. It's all up to you guys which video that you want to, but for the sake of this tutorial, I use the dancing dog and I click enter and then all the dogs that dancing here uh, will pop up. So it's all up to you guys which one you want to choose. So in this tutorial, I'm going to choose this dog. There you go. And I just want to make him, you know, a fit into the screen. There you go. So from here, guys, I'm going to uh, share this one and download this as a mp4 okay so change the file type so change to mp4 and click download and here you will see import so here you click the import and we're going to import the one that we made in canva there you go and then we're going to drag this one and this on our timeline we're going to work on it and then we're going to make another copy of this uh, video okay so to do that we're gonna click this one and copy and we're gonna paste here, here we go so now we have two videos here so what we're gonna do now is we're going to uh create a mask for this so we're going to the mask and you can choose which one you want so in this tutorial i'm gonna use the rectangle and i'm gonna place this inside of the dog just make sure that he's inside of this frame and then we're going to click a mirror so when you see this one when you move this one you will see the other one is there at the back so what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna put this one on top of this there you go and now we can move uh, this one somewhere uh, here to the left or you can move it to the right okay what we're gonna do with this one is we're going to remove the background click the cut out and then scroll down and click the auto cut out okay so the auto cut out is finished so now we can uh, bring this one inside of this frame so we're gonna make this frame a little bit bigger yes to fit this to fit the frame and then this one is we can you know make it a little bit shorter if you want to or you, it's all up to you guys so if you want to put him here and we're going to make another one we're gonna copy this one and we're going to put here on top of this so there are two dogs now so you can move this one wherever you want you can move it here or at the back there or then you can make another copy okay just click this one copy again and paste it here so now you have three there so you know you can put them wherever you want or how many dogs do you want one is there and you can create another one again if you want you can create as many as you want but uh all you have to do is just to uh click this one copy and paste and now there you go and then you can just drag him to the left to the right or wherever you want just like that guys or if you want this make a little bit bigger well you can do this like this and you know make a little bit bigger just like that 
And when we play this one, all right, so that's how you can create a clone. And how many clones do you want to, to create just like this uh, by using Canva or any other pictures? If you already have a videos in your uh, files or pictures, then you can just import it into this uh, CapCut and then drag it into your timeline. And then once you finish with that, and then you can uh, export this and then uh, choose the name. Okay, and then in the resolution, it's 1080p and all of this. I don't want to change this one. And all you have to do is just to export and click OK. And now you can, the video is saved to your desktop, laptop, wherever it is. So this is how it looks like, guys. So if you want to post this in TikTok or, or on a YouTube shorts, well, this is the size that you will use, the 9 by 16 and the original ratio for, uh, you know, YouTube video. And you can uh, use this one. I grew up in a place where they told you what to chase, told you how to run the race. Every move was on the page, but I didn't like their way. Had to fight and misbehave.